and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn and together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved aboard a narrow boat called Nutshell. And here we are. Here we are. It's been a good week this week, it's birthday week. So let us show you how the week unfolded. I'm just making Mrs. Warner a bacon and chilli jam sandwich for breakfast and we just ran out of gas so I had to swap the bottles over. Thankfully we had a spare one so our boat's not too bad, just turn one on, turn one off. All done, sorted. So we'll put this together for Mrs. Warner now. She's just in the shower. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. It is definitely snowing out there. It's forecast snow all day long. Well, we were going to go out and do some jobs this morning, like empty the toilet, do the rubbish. I was going to go for a walk, but the snow's really coming down. So we're like, do we really need to go out? <clears throat> Not really. So it looks like it'll be a day in. So I've got a couple of logs that are a little bit big for our, uh, for our fire. So I'm just going to split them. Yeah, we've got a good fire going on. So, Mr Warner, can I ask what you're doing now? Floor's coming up. So we might have to have a second think on the flooring in here. It's because this particular area here... It's known as a high footfall area. It is, so it needs to be reinforced. So I'm going to try and replace these. I've got some spares. Yeah. Um, and reinforce it underneath and see how we get on. All right, you crack on. Thanks. Welcome on. Oh yeah, that is proper broken. There's water in this build. You can see the bottom of it. That is worrying. Uh, it was dry as bone in here when I did the floor. Where's it all coming from? I think it's coming from windows. We've had a lot of rain. Look how full my welly boot was after one day. If I poured the contents of my welly boot in there, that would be a lot of water. So there's a bit of water under there, it's probably about, I reckon, about a pint. I reckon it's more condensation. I think the insulation in the boat's not great because it's polystyrene and I think it sweats and it runs down all the yeah. way along the boat. Right, Mr Warner, tell me your good news. So this, I've, this was the squeaky. Oh yeah, it was. It's still a little bit squeaky, but not as bad as it was. And it's now completely level with the other board. Roast potato bacon and crispy kale salad. It's what we got. So, here's dinner. And do you know what? I'm actually really looking forward to eating it. It smells good. Well, I can say the kale got a big thumbs up for me. Mr Warner, not so sure. But I really like that. Whoa, the canal's frozen. Good morning and welcome to Monday. The canal has frozen for as far as I can see, all the way across, all the way down. Let me show you. It's frozen all the way down. This is our, what we call the spare room. And look at this ice on the window. I mean, first of all, let's take a moment. How beautiful is that? And then we realise the ice is on the inside. Yeah, still beautiful though. While we're down here, let's put the heating on again. I know it is very early in the morning to start thinking about cakes and baking, but we've got some marzipan left over from Christmas. And I was thinking, what can I do with it? And I mean, I know it's not Christmas, we're at the end of January, but I realised I've got all the ingredients to make some stollen. It's not going to be a strictly authentic recipe, I'm just going to tweak it to the ingredients that I've got. But the reason I'm telling you so early in the morning, I want to make it this afternoon, but before I do that, I'm going to soak the dried fruit so that it'll be ready to add to the recipe. Oh yes, this is what we're talking about. 
So this recipe calls for dried cranberries and mixed peel and raisins and sultanas. I've just got some mixed fruit. Right, there we go. Add four tablespoons of rum. This is actually brandy, but hey, rum, brandy, it's all the same. I actually forgot we had this bottle in the cupboard. It smells bloody lovely. I haven't got all of the spices needed, but I've got some ground mixed spice. So I'm just going to use that instead. Oh, this is where it gets risky. I haven't got strong white flour, just normal white flour. Mr. Warner's off to work. I'm going to walk down to the gate, open it for him, walk back. Basically, I just want to get out. I did not leave the boat yesterday. Not at all. So I just wanted to get some steps in. Wanted to get some fresh air. What a beautiful morning. Someone made a snowman. This is much nicer to walk on than the mud. Here we go. It's definitely icy down there. I hope Mr. Warner takes care. I did my Wim Hof breathing this morning, so I'm feeling good. Did a bit of meditation. Now I'm out getting some fresh air, making stollen. This ain't a bad way to start a Monday. Take care, darling. Yeah, no worries. Oh, I really enjoyed that walk. Throughout lockdowns, I ring my mum at 10.30 in the morning and just have a quick video chat with her and, and see how she's doing. And I rang her twice this morning no answer that's unusual i'm sure she's probably just putting her washing in or something like that so i'll give it another 10 minutes or so and then i'll give her another call spoke to mum it was just messenger not working on her phone so that's all right that was a little bit panicky this morning we need to get some shopping i'm just sending mr warner a text message can't think of anything else we need right just stuck the kettle on for a cup of coffee put a log on the fire i'm determined to keep that going today there's a boat coming the workman going down to where that lock is oh, man can you hear that so mr warner's on his way back and i said i'd walk down to the gate to meet him number one because i want to get some steps in number two because he's been shopping and i'll help him with the bag so come on let's go glenn slipped down the side i need to push it, it won't move forward, will it not I'm right in the deep grass. you are right in the deep grass my life mm -hmm. yeah go on Glenn's grabbing some of the paving slabs. Right. Okay, we're giving up. Well, temporarily. Obviously, we can't believe it abandoned in the ditch, but uh, Glenn's going to get someone to come and give him a tow. Oh. Okay, show me the deliciousness. Oh, that's a, oh, dinner. Dinner. Okey doke. Well, this is part of another dinner. Part of another dinner. Some nice chips. I've got some sausages. I can't I go wrong with some sausages. I've got some chicken to go with some of the rubbish meals that we've got coming from Hello Fresh this week. <laughs> That's why I thought I'd get some chicken. That's a good choice. Loose tea, gold. Oh, like that one. I bought those as well. So the car's well and truly stuck. I've tried everything to get it out, but it's um, the rear left hand wheel is just so far in a, in a rut it just won't come out and it's it's, it's a bit of a the right right by the fence there is a bit of a ditch so um i'm gonna have to get someone to tow me out it's my stupid fault i'm really crossing myself trying to turn around where i did but anyway i couldn't see underneath the snow i thought it'd be all right and it wasn't it's made a right freaking mess
Mr. Warner's very fed up that he got his car stuck. He's going to split some more logs. I'm uploading tonight's narrowboat vloggle. I'm free! Jeff came over and gave me a tow out. That's where the back wheel was stuck. And this, it was like grounded out on this. I won't do that again. Car, <laughs> pretty bad. I mean, it's, it's mucky anyway, but that wheel was proper stuck. You can see how far down it was, how far it wheel span. Anyway, it's done, it's out. Just got to get it back in the parking space without getting stuck now. So, Mr. Warner has got the car out. Thanks, Jeff, for your help. Thank you. He's also brought with him a couple of good posts. So, this has do not open until the 29th. So, I'm going to put that there with my birthday card pile. And this from Amazon. And I don't, I can't, you up? Oh, I can't open it. I can't open it. So, I'll put that with my birthday pile too. Oh, no Hello Fresh tonight, but we have something delicious. Look at these whopping fish fingers. Got some chunky chips and a green vegetable medley. They're multitasking to the extreme today. So, I'm making the stolen. I am cooking dinner. I am going to try this one, kombucha. And Narrowboat Vloggle is launching in about 20 minutes. This Vloggle, it's live. Oh, these chips look magnificent, Mr. Warner. Righty, I didn't realise the Stollen took so many processes. So I've got a starter dough here. And then I've got the main dough. I've got the fruit and I've got the spice. And I'm just going to see if I can move it on a bit. So maybe we could get this in the oven before, well, bedtime. Glenn, I'm never making stolen again. Look at look at the state of this. It's very messy. It That can't be right. I don't know. What's it meant to be like? I don't know, Glenn. Well, maybe it's right then. Well, I don't it's know. It's dodgy. I mean, there's hardly any mixture. It's all stuck to my hand. Ew. That's all I can say about this. Ew. Anyway, I need to let this mess rise for another, or rest, for another 30 minutes. I should have started this way earlier in the day. I'm going to leave it overnight. It's got two more stages of, like, adding stuff, kneading, leaving. There's no way I'll get it in the oven tonight. So... We'll finish that tomorrow. I was really tempted to just ignore all the steps, just throw everything in and stick it in the oven and see what it's like. I think you, you think I should? Well, Do you think I, I should? Really. Okay, scrap that. I'm going to just shove everything in and shove it in the oven. Let's see what happens. Don't ever follow my instructions on making stolen. Honestly, I've dumped it all in a pan. I'm sticking it in. We'll see in about 40 minutes what it's like. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. It's another frozen ice day out there. I don't know if you can see that. The canal is frozen. We're starting the day with a cup of coffee and a slice of our... I'm not going to call it stolen because it bears no resemblance really to the real thing. It's a little bit like a rock cake, but we'll go with it. It's one o'clock. Where's the day going? It's running away with me. Anyway, we're going to go out for a walk. We were going to go along a muddy path. I said, Glenn, no, I can't do it. We are going to a proper path. I'm insisting. Glenn brought some more bird seed yesterday and filled this up. And you look at that and you think, oh, they've eaten loads of that, but they haven't. 
they have been sifting through it to get a particular bit that they like and the rest of it gone on the floor so we've come back into Tring for a walk there's a lot of water around a lot of puddles so we're walking up towards where the museum is this is a nice little road there's some lovely little places here this is the museum I want to bring you to once it opens up again it's very interesting Glenn's going in for coffee he sells all the coffee that he uses as well right so That's... I asked him which one this one was just so if it's a good yeah. coffee we can always come and get from okay well that was a lovely walk I have joy walking joy obviously it was a fairly good footpath I have good coffee joy but also mr warner brought two amazing sausage rolls i couldn't show you because i had one hand holding the sausage roll one hand holding the coffee but boy it was a good sausage roll so i'm filled up with joy now we're heading back to the boat i've got some work to do when we get back but yeah i just wanted to tell you sausage roll joy dinner this evening oh yes a takeaway meal bag for two i've just put the spring rolls in the oven tonight's beverage of choice it is barrel smoked cola i've had this before i like it lots dinner is ready oh these are my favorite dinner is served mr warner I've spent the evening watching narrowboat vlogs for the next vlog all. Mr. Warner, been watching Pirates of the Caribbean? Thought so, thought so. Uh, I'm off to bed now. Mr. Warner has got to get up super early tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. I am on it today not even 10 o'clock and so far i've done the video editing i've uploaded to youtube instagram the new website facebook oh i've done all the jobs uh, i've also cleaned up just ignore my coat there my coat in my bag i'm going out in a bit but the whole boat tidy so i'm feeling super productive today glenn got up at the crack of dawn well actually not even the crack of dawn he got up in the middle of the night to go off for a day's work with jeff it was like two o'clock in the morning that is not the crack of dawn dawn is nowhere to be seen at two o'clock in the morning he's off he's taking the camera so a day of work today i'm with jeff we're off the leads in a low loader m1 northbound Three twenty-six. Three twenty-six in the morning. Yeah, we've been going forty-two minutes. Twelve minutes past five in the morning. We are at Sheffield, and we're just about to go past Meadow Hall Shopping Centre. It's all lit up over there. But this all used to be steelworks. Now it's a mostly a shopping centre. Anyway, not far yeah, now to Leeds. We've got another. So we're just about to pull into where we got to go. There we go. This place just at the end here. There's no one here yet. We're a little bit early. So it's 6.50 in the morning. We've already dropped one off. Didn't take any footage of that one. I will take some footage of the next one. We've got to stop now because Jeff needs to have a break. So we're just going to go and grab a coffee from somewhere and then fill up with fuel. last pickup and we're picking up three brand new dumper trucks he gets them out ready for me just a, just a few basically i've got to help um help jeff stretch the trailer that's one of my main jobs today that's why we're picking up three of them
called a full load. This is the bit we're at to stretch. I'll tell you how close it gets. That has got to go straight and basically it's going to touch that ramp. So we need to get some cardboard in because these are all obviously brand new and going out for sale. So they don't want any marks on them or anything. So they need to put something in to stop it scratching. And if you look, basically the gaps, that's how big the gap is between the dump. It was about 45 minutes, I think, to do that. Stretch the trailer, get the things on. And this trailer has got rear wheel steer. A couple of these wheels will actually turn as well to make it easier to steer. I'm gonna check in on my mum, see how she's doing. Pick up our Hello Fresh box. Oh, you know the routine. Today is Miramar's birthday. And boy, do I have some exciting news. Mm -mm. Miramar's moved not too far from here obviously i can't go and see her but i can drop off some flowers so on the way back from my mum's i'm going to stop at the shop i've ordered uh, some flowers to click and collect and then i'll drop them at miramar's boat so yeah that's the plan for today look at the state of my well is i really need a clean it's really mild today, not cold at all. The poor snowman is almost completely gone. Hey mum, you all right? Okay, operation clean welly boot. I've actually forgotten that they were, they were that colour. So mum has brought some thermal curtains to keep, keep her draft free. So I'm going to see if I can put them up. They are solid, aren't they? If it comes down, then we'll get Glenn to do a proper fix. I thought we were done, but we're not. There is another curtain. Door number two. That's much better. Mum was saying that she doesn't use these steps because she can't fold them back up. And I've just had a try, and I've got to admit, I couldn't do it either. Let's see how Glenn does it. He did it so easy. Well, Glenn does everything <laughs> so easy. It says unlock. Mm -hmm. Way. There we go. You just need a bit of brute oh, force. They're heavy, aren't they? You see, Glenn's fine. He can go off. We don't need him. We can, we can change curtains and fold step ladders without him. Very self-sufficient. I forgot my mask. So I had to wear Glenn's camo one. Got the fish and chips, there was only a small queue outside today. Heading back to mum's, done all the jobs. So it's about quarter past one. That's just done for the day, just got to unload these three, three trucks off of here. Right, I've picked up the flowers from the shop. Just need to drop these off at Miramar's boat then back to our boat. If you don't pick your HelloFresh meals in time, they'll pick them for you. And that's what's happened. I think Ralph in the comments said, why doesn't Mr. Warner pick some meals? So I made him basically. So he's picked next week's. These meals, no one's picked. Well, HelloFresh have picked. And because the last meals that I picked were healthy, they're thinking we're on a health kick. What we got? Oh, thyme roast chicken. That's a good one. I like that one. Aubergine and courgette salad. Mm. Uh, soy and honey chicken. Oh, that's all right. Oh, creamy spiced lentil curry. Um, and Cajun prawn risotto. Well. There's some interesting meals there. Which one do you fancy tonight, Mr. Warner? Um, first one. Time roast chicken? Yeah. Here we go. Cheeky fish finger on the side there. Good morning and welcome to Thursday. I got up at five o'clock this morning. I've done my editing, I've uploaded. I'm ahead of the game. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Mr. Warner, just turn the generator on. We're going to crank up the coffee machine. Yeah, we're going to have, have a bacon and avocado sandwich. This is how you start the day. You are a master bacon sandwich maker. It rained lots last night. 
so much so the lake has reappeared in the field opposite glenn rang me to say that grove lock which is only a couple of miles that way had flooded and there was water all over the road right that's it generator turned off fire is going i'm going to keep an eye on that today so what am i doing work wise today the lingo v cards are going to print yeah they are i've got to do a final proofread i mean proofreading is not my skill set anyway and proofreading in a foreign language i don't understand also not not my forte i'm going to proofread those then they're going off to print i'm speaking to nicola at 11 she helps me keep on track with all the stuff i'm doing what else is going on i've done all my video uploads I really, 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 really would like to get the Life Full of Meaning website up and running tomorrow. It's not finished. It's going to be forever a work in progress, but it would be really nice to, to launch it, to get it up for the world to see. Anyway, right, I'm going to crack on and I'll catch you later. Morning. It is Thursday, day before Mrs Warner's 50th birthday. I've come to the office, I've got a couple of dispatches to do, got a couple of things to pick up. There's a couple of parcels come, so let's get them opened. No idea what these are, I can't remember. There's this one. It's a lot of wires, it's a, it's a berry car kit. I've got, some, I've got a dispatch to do today. So basically we seal Mrs Warner's packets of cards with little clear labels and that's just 2,000 of them in there. Right, okay, let's get on with it. Right, I'm all done here. I've got Mrs. Warner's birthday present. Wait, she should be very pleased with that. And I've just got a couple of dispatches to do, and then I've uh, got to pick some stuff up on the way back to the boat. I'm going to get my welly boots on. I'm going to go for a walk. It is going to be super wet out there, so I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to get down the towpath, but let's see. Thank goodness I've got my poles. It is muddy, like so muddy. More muddy than the mud we've had before. I've just had a text message from Glenn saying, don't eat anything. It's random, but I won't. Mrs. Warner is a very lucky lady. All these bits and bobs in here are for her. What have you got? It's tea for two. In the... Tea for two? Yeah, put the kettle on, Mrs. Warner. And um, me and you have got one of these each. One of those each? Let me put the kettle on. Look at this. How lovely does this look? So this is a present from Debbie, Glenn's sister. One of your presents. It's not even my birthday no, yet. Look a, at it. A pre-birthday A pre-birthday yeah. tea. Here's a new trolley. instructions it's not as easy as i thought it was going to be i'm going to put you on time lapse while i'm doing it in the boot of my car which again is not ideal i'd like to say that didn't take a long time but it did <laughs> but there it is trolley and all let's get it loaded up so i've got my pjs on it's quite late we just haven't had dinner because we have that gorgeous afternoon tea just didn't want dinner it may look like i've been crying i have not because i'm turning 50 no because i've just watched long lost families on tv and it always makes me cry so i'm off to bed when i wake up in the morning i'm going to be 50 years old 50. Happy birthday! Thank you, darling. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Naya. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Did you like Darling, I haven't opened them yet. I've just sat down to open them. So is this from you? Yeah. Shall I open it now? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness! How many presents are in here? Yeah, the, the wrapping paper is beautiful. <laughs> how many? How many presents and how many cards? 
I'm going to open this one. I love you, Yaya. Oh, love from Evie. Thank you, darling. That is beautiful. Did you make that? Yeah. Oh, darling, that is beautiful. Thank you all very, very much. That is all my favourite things there. Have I said good morning yet? I don't think I've even said good morning. Good morning and welcome to the 29th of January. I mean, do Fridays get much better than a, a birthday on a Friday? Yeah. I'm just having such a lovely day. And it's only, well, it's not even 10 o'clock yet, no, is it? Just gone nine. Just gone nine. Oh, I've already spoken this morning. Harry rang. The kids uh, wished me happy birthday. That was lovely. And Debbie and Steve from Wales rang and sung a happy birthday to me down the phone, which was lovely too. I've done my video editing for, for the day, so I can just now relax. I've got so many lovely presents to open. Let's get cracking. Look at that. I must have opened like at least 5,000 calories already this morning. <laughs> Minimum. Glenn got Caught these as well. It's a share one. a box and we can't see anybody today. So I'm just going to share those with Glenn. What is it? Oh, oh this is... <laughs> I very much love yeah. practical gifts to help me get my welly boots off. It's the oh, getting the socks muddy. How good is that? That is an awesome present. Thank you, Chloe. Look at these beautiful slippers. Open first. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Lots of confetti. Well yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, look. That is so cool. Happy 50th birthday, Mum, Yaya, Bethy, Leo, John and Lexi. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, I feel so spoiled. I'm very happy with that. Thank you, Beffy. Oh, Alison, Kev, James and Sophie. Thanks, Alison. Oh, -ho! and lots mm -hmm. of scratches. We'll Welcome. do those later. Who is this from? It's your birthday. Eat cake and be awesome. This is... Oh, that is lovely. Thank you, Vicky. It's from Vicky Hampton, who watches our videos. We wish you the best birthday wishes as you were always bright last Sundays with your vlog. Mike has made you a present, but it's too big to post. We have one and found it very useful whilst cruising over the past couple of years. When we're allowed to travel, we would like to deliver it personally. Oh, Vicky, that would be so fabulous. Thank you. Oh, that is so kind of you. Thank you, Mum. That is very kind of you. What is it? Oh, it's from Debbie and Steve. I love that. Thank you. A socially distanced toast. Oh, and that's from Debs and Steve as well. Thank you. That is really lovely. Oh, that is a giant card. It is that a giant is, isn't card. it? And this is from Glenn. And in here. <gasps> da, 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 da. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That is going to help me count up my thousand miles. I'm very excited. Thank you, Glenn. And Thank some flowers. You. And some flowers. And Lovely. Some wine. And some wine. And some donuts and croissants. We're going to go and put the kettle on, make a coffee. Right, <clears throat> here we go, Mr. Warner. There's 38 chances to win on this card, Glenn. Okay. Let's go. It's so, all right, Glenn. I'm optimistic I'm going to win. 36. 36. 36. I haven't got 36. Oh, I have got 36. 36. Yeah. What is my prize? Five pounds. Five. That's all right. Oh, exciting. So we've just done our live broadcast with Julian Mark from We're On The Move. That was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. I am just setting up my Garmin watch. Not that she's getting older or anything, but she was jabbing at the front of it. And it I, I, I just stop. haven't read the instructions <laughs> properly, but I've got the little book. I'm reading. I'm reading. Anyway, 
I'm going to go set that up and then I'm going to go for a walk. This is so cool. Oh, I, like oh, I want that no, one. That no, you have it. You have it. I I'll have that one. one. Or oh, that one. So, my watch thinks I'm skiing and I can't work out how to turn it to walking. It's now changed to golfing. Skiing and golfing, two things I'll never do. So I've managed to get my watch. It's now saying walking. So we're going to take a walk down to the gate. Well, I think some of our friends are going to meet us at the gate and do a social distance. Hello and happy birthday. Oh, this is a big puddle, Mr. Warner. There's our lovely friends. Come to see us. Oh, more beautiful flowers. Socially distanced birthday celebrations. Right. So, you know, if you want these, yeah, I do. Put on. Put in. Oh, <gasps> look how easy that was. Perfect. Perfect. Some deliciousness in here. Real ale chutney. Passion fruit curd, a bit like lemon curd, but passion fruit. Oh, and some hot carrot and coriander chutney. You know what, Mr. Warner? What would go lovely with this hot carrot and coriander chutney? Do you sausage know? Roll. A sausage roll. Yeah, put in a sausage roll. Let's make some. Well, we've sort of miss, missed lunch because we were eating donuts, but I've got some sausage meat some apple sauce, some puff pastry. Right, these shall be known as my birthday sausage rolls. This could be an amazing combination. Oh, it could be a burnt sloppy mess. Who knows? Let's stick them in the oven and see what happens. Well, I think we can safely say these are the best sausage rolls I've ever made. Well, that is my birthday done and what a cool day it's been i've really enjoyed it that's it i'm 50 years old now i've seen people virtually today so we've had lots of chats and conversations and i had a lovely long chat with my friend dawn so all good good morning and welcome to saturday the weather outside is frightful rain snow wind all of it at once needless to say we are not going anywhere today but that's all right we can stay in in the warm mr warner is moping around a bit hey you got one of my birthday donuts yeah. nowhere to go nothing to do today can't guarantee an exciting video today that's for sure i have got another present to open though let's have a look what is in here it is chock-a-block full of lovely stuff. Don't think of it as 50, think of it as 21 with 29 years of experience. Blown out candles since 1971. Oh, we got some cheese, some of Jeff's famous chilli jam, some crackers, some Prosecco. A nice glass as well, look at that. That is fabulous. Right. I'm going to sit down and have a cup of tea and uh, eat a donut. Glenn's already had two donuts this morning. I think I'm going to have to go with that one, aren't I? What are you up to, Glenn? Oh, now there's a joyous job for a Saturday, isn't there? Do you remember the days when we used to do fun stuff on Saturdays? Dumping loads of paperwork in a in this bag and it's time for it to... Uh, it's time to get sorted. I have the newsletter to do for Milton Keynes Community Boat. They did an interview on Three Counties Radio where, where they've actually named the boat. It's all very exciting. I'll leave a link below so you can catch up on all the news. So on this wet, horrible, cold Saturday, I'm going to make, even though it is half past three, some cheese and bacon turnovers. I haven't done any pastry work for a while, so I might be a little bit... A little bit, what's the word? Uh, rubbish. No. <laughs> when you've forgotten to do something. And rusty. Rusty, yeah. Rusty. Might be a bit of a rusty nail on it. Anyway, let's uh, let's do it. So we've got cheating pastry, smoked bacon from, from no other race than Waitrose. Oh, it's going to be good. And some cheddar cheese also from Waitrose. 
And what I usually do is I make them quite thin so you don't use all the pastry. And then what I just do is get these two corners and meet them there. So there's my two bits. We always have streaky smoked bacon. Pop those in the oven. And get smart what seven? Yeah. Let's see how those bad boys turn out. It's been the allocated time. Let's have a quick look. Mm, they look all right. They're a bit. I don't think they're quite done yet. I might give them a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going in. Let's get them out. Now, all right. I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday, who sent cards and gifts. Thank you so much. Really, really do appreciate it. We also have some very sad news this week. We heard from Vina's grandson, Keith. That Vina had passed away this week. Even though we never got to meet her in person, she feels like part of our YouTube family. So we just want to send much love to Keith yeah. and Vina's family. Guys, we will see you next week and we just hope you have a wonderful week ahead. See you later. Bye. Bye.